69. I'll tell you what, let's let's do the scores. Since we just got we just got bested by a scooters, we'll go try that ship ourselves. Probably won't have quite the same luck with it. I'll probably end up in a tier 9 game that'll make me cry. But screw it, let's go do it anyway. Scooters. It's all about the alcohol, Puddin'. Absolutely. Yeah, Haiku, I'll go back and do another one. Uh, we've had some folks join in the last little bit. Um, bottom line is that Asymmetric right now is a waste of time, in my opinion. Um, we did one game as a Tier 8. 40% uh, of the team we were on was bots, which meant you lost, you wasted your time. And then I did it as a Tier 6, and the entire high tier team was bots, which is also a waste of my time. Uh, because they bots only know how to do one thing, sail forward until they're dead, so... The whole, the whole mode was incredibly boring. But I'll go pick something else. We'll go grab a Tier 6 cruiser. Uh, that, that seemed to be the fastest crew. We'll grab uh, uh, Q. So many babes. So little time. Don't worry, girls. There's plenty of Duke to go around. We'll grab an Alba or a Leander or something. Um, and uh, and give it a shot. Some other good Tier 6 cruisers. I wouldn't grab a Nuremberg. Uh, Dallas. Ooh, Dallas would be a good one. Dallas would be a good one. Congratulations, Luke! You've chosen a good one. Hindenburg is an excellent, excellent tier ten cruiser. In fact, the Church of Hindenburg has a celebration coming up in October, as I recall. Let's go look that one up. Yeah, no, no. Here they're very common, and I think it's so far it's because there's no incentive to play the high tier ships, right? The low tier ships have the mission chain that incentivizes, hey, go play tier five and six in this mode. Um, for the for the for the gift containers, there is no equivalent for tier seven and eight. Yeah, I I, I tried that haiku. I, I ran the tier six in a furious waste of time, waste of time. The bots clump together. You can't really get strikes through. It's tough. It's tough. I mean, human players might move up, like move around and break up to where you might could get strikes on them. But the entire enemy team was bots. It was just it was painful. So I don't know. I'll go try it again. The, the the crew. The, by the way, the queue for a tier six cruiser haiku was also was also over three minutes long. It took me. It was it was it was bad. <laughs> it was just bad. I don't. I I uh, Nolo. I don't know that I would do Saipan. I would do Enterprise. In Saipan, every single plane loss hurts. Every single one. I would not do Saipan. I, I Enterprise Shokaku. Maybe, maybe Parseval. Lots of squishy cruisers to beat up on uh, with Parseval. That might be a good one. Palmer or Georgia? Dan, I'm going to say Palmer. I feel like Georgia's speed can get you into trouble if you're too potato. Palmer is much slower. She rewards more deliberate positioning. And the secondaries and torpedoes make it hard to go wrong with that ship, really. Ow, oh, balls. Well, I beat the hell out of the Kutuzov so far. Trouble is now I basically just have to stop firing. As long as I stop firing, he has no way to spot me. So that's his problem, not mine. However, let's see. If, if he will fire... There we go. That's what I want to see. Shoot again. Shoot again, dirtbag. He's 
continuing to reverse. But he's running out of room to reverse in. There we go. Now we found him. Yeah, he moved up a bit now. Look who I found! This guy's in trouble. He's getting his ass kicked. Switch back to the HE. I'm not going to have much of an angle on him here soon. HP. I'd love to kill this Kutuzov. Give me one shell, guys. Give me one shell on this Kutuzov, please. Ah! Come on, I want to kill this guy. I want to kill him so bad. One stinking shell! No, I'm overshooting him. The whole time I'm overshooting him. Wait a minute, that might be it. That might be it. Yes! Yes! Suck it, Kutuzov! Suck it, Kutuzov! Alright. That's a good way to start this game. Alright, let's start farming this Odin. He is in a big damn hurry. I think I still... I don't... I think I run, um... Pretty sure I run, um... um Reload mod on my Nevsky. Pretty sure. We are going to get our asses kicked on this flank. I'm going to spend most of my game running until I die. It's a good thing I beat the Kutuzov. That's going to be the last victory I'm going to get this game. Because this entire flank has completely collapsed and all I can do is run and I'm spotted from orbit, which is going to make running almost impossible. Really need this Odin to light. He must have fire prevention. There we go. He finally took a fire. The problem is now I'm going to be his next most convenient target. I'm going to be everybody's most convenient target on this flank. What's my detection? 11. No. Fabulous. What is my base detection? 11-6. Okay, so if I stop shooting now, I can actually go dark. No, I can't, because the Miyoko's close enough. So screw it. Let's just let's just die. Get it out of the way. I mean, I'm trying, fellas, but you've left me out here to die, so there's only so much I can do, alright? All I can do is sell my ship dearly, because I have no way to win.
I'm trying, fellas, but y'all aren't making it very easy. I mean, I got left to die and managed to rack up about 20 reset ribbons along the way while my team did whatever it is that they're doing. I'm not sure why the Vlad thought this was a good idea. That's right, make sure you focus on the battleship and ignore the squishy light cruiser that's killing you. This team was terrible. Everybody went to one cap. The people that did stay at my cap committed suicide and accomplished nothing along the way. <sighs> Parsifal should be able to kill the Miyoko easily if he'd just do it. This Farragut is committing suicide. I'm not sure why, but he is. He might actually get the Zona. He is going to get the Zona. I think. The enemy team has taken the lead. Well, I don't know. Smoke would be good. He absolutely got... Oh, he's going to get one on the new mechs. Wow. Wow. The stupid... It burns. It burns. And this carrier... Oh, he's trying to kill it. Yeah. Okay, the Miyoko. He's finally going to get the Miyoko. See, where were you a minute ago? Where was the carrier a minute ago when I needed support on this flank? Now that's impressive. That Farragut just got a double strike because he flooded out both battleships almost at exactly the same time. That's impressive. That's impressive. All right, Parsifal. It's time for you to it's time for you to accomplish something meaningful. You haven't been doing a whole lot of that this game. Oh, Rob. <laughs> no, no, that has not been since the patch. That has been like since three years ago. Our Pensacola is dead. Ink, thank you for the follow. Yep, see, there goes, there goes Pensacola. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh my guy! Thank you for the follow. Still had a good game in this ship. I mean, I have 1.5 million potential, 20 reset ribbons, and 90k damage. And I outdueled Kutuzov. I'm really proud of killing the Kutuzov. I'm, I'm very proud of killing the Kutuzov. I'm actually going to go check and see, because I feel like I did more damage to him than anybody else. Like, by a significant margin. Alright, Parseval, it's time. You've been driving these planes around for three minutes and haven't done anything with them. There you go. Now it's time. Now you get to now you get to do what you should have been doing to the Odin an hour ago. You got at least one sit out of that. Come on. Turn to starboard, drop your bombs. There you go. No, you got nothing out of the second drop. Um, it's possible, David. I, I was probably picking on the wrong target, not realizing that the Miyoko was the one who was really closing with me and spotting me. He was showing me a good enough angle. I probably should have been APing him uh, for a while before I actually did. Our Ismail is dead. Um, the New Mexico will die. It's only a matter of time. Which just, just leaves the Parseval, who pretty much hasn't accomplished a whole lot this game anyway, so... No big loss, really. Once again, I got in a game with a bunch of useless battleships. How do you play? Consider this, guys. This is a top-tier Massachusetts. And he got no kills. He didn't hardly do anything. We saw him over there derping around the, the, the cap circle, just dying broadside to an Odin. Wow. Wow. I'm going to give this Shokaku player some props, though. For continuing to move his hull. I, I I will always I will always applaud aggressive hull position on a carrier, even if it doesn't work out. 
right? Because you never know if it's going to work out. But you, you, you need to be you need to be playing like it's going to work out, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, I, I was just applauding him, and now I, he's trying to he's trying to torpedo the Parseval, which is kind of a waste of time. Like, eh. hey, look, our New Mexico died. I'm shocked. This team was never really in this game. All right, Parsifal. You're going to get one salvo. Make it count. Make it count. Nope, that wasn't it. You left him on 700 HP. He's going to live. What's up, Grant? Tell her we said hello. <laughs> that's that's a frustrating loss, right? Because look at this. Look at this. Come on. I showed up. Where the hell were the rest of you? Where the hell were the rest of you? Here's our top tier battleships. Come on. Give me a break. All right, how much, how much damage do I do this Kutuzov? 37,000. Kutuzov's got about... 43,000 HP, I think. Let's go check. But I did like 80% of the damage to that guy.